today we are going to figure out um, our arm and rear all-wheel drive setup. So today the goal is to have this whole piece out of here, have the suspension out of here, and start brainstorming mock-ups for the lower control arm, for the camber kit, and for the trailing arm. Um, right now, I'm basically trying to make a bracket so that the face of this factory rotor or drum, it says drum, it says old, uh, basically this face is gonna stay in the same spot. So I'm using this kind of as a mock-up and I'm gonna use this over here and I'm gonna tack weld it. And basically what that's gonna do is once this is all kind of straight, I'm gonna tack weld this with little washers and this is gonna give me my perfect placement like that. So when I take this off, this is gonna stay right here. So when I take our other arms and push it into these, this thing, this little hub plate right here, it's like a bad one that we didn't wanna use, but just this little hub plate right here, I'm gonna put it in and that's gonna have the perfect face so that we know that the wheel is exactly where it needs to be. Yep. That's about it for today. We'll get uh, a little bit more in the process when I get this thing ripped apart. Once I, once I get these two things into place, and then I'm gonna remove them and rip the whole entire rear end out. Cool. Let's take a look at it, guys. the design behind this so we want this face there's the face it needs to be removable so I slide that in there put it in there and then you slide it till it's face you see how flush it is yep perfectly flush so are you gonna like now so basically like, now this, it moves Don't you it can move it? do you want to have something no 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 it can it can move I'm gonna I'm going to um, mark it I'm gonna yeah. have like marks on it with yeah. paint and it, it can move but basically when I mark the paint, this one bolt hole, only one bolt hole is gonna line up because this hub isn't the right pattern, but this bolt hole will line up. So I'll be able to spin our hub, have it marked. So that's the mark for the one bolt hole. And then you see how this can spin like that or whatever, stuff like that. I actually am going to do something else now. So I'm gonna have from here to here, I'm gonna have a measurement of height. It's not, it's not gonna be welded like this, but yeah. it's gonna be a measurement of height. So I'm gonna take this height measurement this measurement, and then with this one bolt, it will be secure. But yes, it can move like this, see? Okay, yeah, no problem. So. You gonna have to cut some of that? I think so, yeah. I don't know yet. It. Yep, so now you have uh doesn't move up or down. I have my marks marked for left to right and my bolt just kind of goes right in. So I have my face just like that and then I needed to make it removable. So now to remove it, we're just pulling it out and that's my face right here. So now we're gonna know when this thing's not here, the face is gonna stay right, right there. And it's spot nice. Right. Sweet. Same thing other side done. Yeah, same thing other side done. In English terms now. Okay. Other side thing, same other. <laughs> All right, so see how this moves? Yeah. It only moves because it's not flat. Once I put it in its position, yep. everything touches. So I know that that's the position has to stay. Are, are you marking everything it's, right here? I don't have to mark that. This is the mark. Yeah, but still, I think you should put a dot somewhere on this. Why thing. would I have to put a dot? This is the dot. When it touches, it's done. Yeah, I know, I know what I'm just saying. Just so that you don't back up, back up, back up. You just okay. well, I back up is but it wouldn't, but wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt on nah. the inside. Man, you mess up the monkey. I'm rich. Look, you got a new paint job. Are you from the mint business? From the mint. Woo! There you go. One down. The second one down. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty simple to remove this uh, rear 
I guess like a cross member type of deal. We call it the all in one. <laughs> all in one. <laughs> uh, it's pretty simple. I'll just pop this thing out really fast so that we can start figuring out our geometry for our suspension. And I'm gonna pop these things back in and then you guys are gonna see how the hub will float kind of right here. Yep. Cool. All right guys, getting that muck up beginning. Already checking out camera stuff. Let me see this. Uh, probably gotta be a cut in and all that. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna do this camber low. I'm gonna do some cutting and then. Oh, it's gonna be like right, yeah. right here, right? Yep. yep okay. Yep. Perfect. I'm gonna figure this out with some spacers because this is actually a toe kit, not a camber kit. Oh yeah, yeah, toe kit. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna. That's a toe kick. That's a toe kick. For what? It's a modified one that we've had a while. See, we shimmed it down. We milled That's the whole. That's a toe kick. Oh yeah, yeah, kit. yeah. It is a toe kick. Yeah. We got the Alpha Six drag. Getting it ready. What's up guys? So what we're doing here is basically cutting out the center support here uh, on the back housing of the bumper. So this is kind of molded into the front of it as one piece. Um, so what we're going to need to do now is because of where his charge piping is going to sit, we weren't going to have enough clearance with the Gato center feed. So I'm basically notching this whole center section out so that the center feed is able to kind of feed out from the bottom here and then come up this way over to the driver side where we're gonna have an air to water intercooler. Um, so without cutting this, we didn't have the clearance that we need because the center feed sits about somewhere right in here. Um, so the charge piping has to have room to come down oh, no, no, and then about. loop over that way. All right, cool. So we're just getting everything cut out. We're gonna go back and, and basically box both of these sides in to reinforce it, you know, plate this off, weld that together and then uh, make sure that we have the clearance that we need for the charge piping the feet over to the other side there. All right, cool. That might work. Oh, that'll work, I think. I'm just gonna do a little something, something. Making that plate. Getting everything all boxed up nice, so we're gonna close off all this so that it's all secured and you know it's got more strength to it because right now it's a little bit flimsy. Um, okay. We're basically boxed in both sides. We got a four inch to a three inch reducer here from Vibrant, and then a Vibrant uh, charge pipe in here. So okay. this is the 120 degree uh, three inch tube. So as you can see, this gives us enough angle that we need to get it back over this way to this side, and then we'll build the rest of the charge pipe down from there. Go to there. So after our mock-up with the hubs here, we got our arms pushed up uh, today, and we got some things getting started here. As you can see, the uh, camber kit up here. We boxed this out, got the camber kit bolted in, almost like a kind of like a factory bolt-in camber kit. We have a mock-up, not finished product, but a little mock-up of here of what we wanted to figure out in this area. So I think we're gonna build something that's all kind of one piece. This is kind of just something welded together to hold it up. And we're gonna do some bracing from this arm up to this arm so that it doesn't have any movement. But we're getting there now. So once we figure out this section, this section, we're gonna start with the other side tomorrow. And then once those are set in stone, we're gonna get to the Diff mount. Diff mount, all right. Nice. Here's a closer look at it. Notched it out. So it's coming together, guys. Look at that, came a long way. Wait, piece of cake, Chad? Uh, yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do like 20 of these in one week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, subscribe.